Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Finney, coming at you when this Thursday morning from the balcony above the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And before we kick things off here at the big board, we've got to say we've had ourselves a big week of losses. Yes, yesterday, U.S. markets taking a bit of a Mike Tyson, Mike, Mike Tyson punch to the face. Not necessarily a knockout, but we'll see right now how the markets are shaping up. Will they bounce back or will the slide continue right now? Futures not looking that good. You know what? Let's take a look right now to see how the markets are shaping up to kick off this, the second to last trading session of the week right here at the New York Stock Exchange. Futures tied to the Dow Jones are pointing above break even today after another key inflation report. Last month's PPI producer prices, a measure of wholesale prices rising just 0.2%, which is less than the 0.3% anticipated, while shares of CarMax are 8% lower pre-market on track to breach its year-to-date break even mark after the online car retailer reported fiscal fourth quarter earnings and revenue that were worse than expected. Nike 2.2% higher ahead of the open after Bank of America Securities upgrading it to buy from new and hiking its price target by $3 to $113 in Asian stocks chopping today as the consumer price index stateside faced off with consumer inflation in China that came in at 0.1% in March, lower than expected. And in Europe, investors unpacking the ECB's decision to hold interest rates steady, ECB President Christine Lagarde indicating that the rate cuts in June a distinct possibility. And lastly, it must be said, cell phone technology changing the airport check-in process for the better. You OGs know what I mean. 